Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zisteria. This is episode 19. On the last episode, we went through the Assassin's Hideout and we got to talk to Rose and some of the other assassins. And we also unlocked the door to this ruin. So now we're gonna go check it out. What's this? Some kind of lever? Rose, wait! You can't just go around touching everything you... Well, she's locked us in here. Well, it sure didn't take long for everything to fall apart. Be a new record. <laughs> now what will we do? Well, that certainly took the wind out of our sails. Why don't you see if there's any way to stop the rose in the next room? That's the door. It's no good. There's not even a keyhole. Whoops. Don't you whoops me! Well, at least I got this working, right? It was a dead end otherwise. <sighs> She's got your number. Huh? I can't move it back. Well, what do I do now? Uh, the other door opened up. I'll go take a look. Stay right there. Where else would I go? <laughs> I'll cool your jets. Oh, great. Well... They're off to a great start. It's a great start. Ugh, Lord, kill me. You fix this now. Well, we definitely had easier days. Why don't you expect the doors and walls one more time to make sure you haven't missed anything? You can barely see a seam in the wall at all. The architecture skill on display here might surpass that of even the... Mom... Binacle Ruins? I don't know how that's said. Okay, so... Some wall, there's nothing out of the lower there about it. You scour the wall for things that look suspicious. Nope. Just a desperately... A depressingly physical wall. Well, much. It doesn't look like you can open from inside. There doesn't seem to be any way you can turn back towards the entrance. Darn it! We can't do anything from in here. We'll just have to trust her. Saray, why don't you invite Rose to join our group? Huh? Where'd this come from? I actually agree. She'd be a good partner for you. You two? Remember what Gramps used to say? A true comrade has different sight, but the same vision. A true comrade. Why not? Plus, Rose's level of resonance is about on par with yours. With Alicia, you both suffered the cost of making her your squire, but this time I think it would be different. Besides, it should be obvious by now that you being the only human can cause problems. Maybe. But I can't involve other people in the Shepherd's duty. So that's what you're worried about, huh? Saray, have your travels thus far brought you nothing but suffering? Well, no, it's had its share of good times as well. Is the Shepherd's destiny tremendous enough to overpower the dream we share? Probably not. You do know what we're getting at, right? Yeah. Not every burden is mine to shoulder. 
The responsibility you feel is definitely a good thing. But at the same time, you must walk the path in life that is meant for you. Try to walk everyone's path and your legs will tangle up. So you're saying I've got to figure out my own way of doing things. But that's all the more reason to have friends to support you, right? True. Though it'll be up to her in the end. Before anything, we'll need to sit down with her and get her to understand us. That'll go over well. For now, there's nothing we can do but wait till she gets back. Yeah. Yes, we gotta talk to everybody again. I can't believe we're just hanging around like this. But you can look around and imagine ages long past. That's the thrill of ruin exploring. I wouldn't know. I hardly ever get trapped like this. I believe I recall rescuing you from a trap or two. Two, maybe. Psst. But still, there's something strange about this ruin. Sealed off areas, doors with little windows next to them. And devices inside the room that can be operated from the outside. Oh, an, an experimenting, experimenting room! room. <laughs> ah. <laughs> If this place was for experiments, then it probably doesn't open from this side. We'll have to leave it to Rose. But we could try to investigate the nature of the experiments, at least. We don't even know if we can get out of here. It must be nice to live in Saray world. Whatever. It must be nice. She's late. I should have gone with her. Did you hear something just now? I sure did. Smoke! Yep, that sucks. Hey! This is serious! Not for me. Smoke's only a problem for humans like you. Have fun. What? Edna, this isn't the time for joking around. Let's just stay composed, everyone. Fine. Okay, you... Are you okay? You turn off the Rose, switches don't by... Get close. You turn off the I'm smoke here. by Just look these for some other switches, way. But... It's in I'm a pattern. Sorry. I really do feel bad about this. I'm fine, I said. No, so I'm pretty sure there was something. However, it starts to really fog the room up. If you take too long. I'm doing this on purpose. Got to hurry. So I don't remember what the last two combinations were. You sure are magnanimous. <laughs> Same as he ever was. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice messing with things at random until something works. I'm really, really sorry. I'll try and find another one. I yeah, sure I hope this experience turns that. Rose on to ruin exploring. Once she's done burying your body. That's the Saray I know. It is? This isn't looking good. <sighs> I guess that fixed it. Yeah. You almost look excited. Yeah, I hadn't realized, but it's been a while since I've had this much fun. Good. That is a feeling you should cultivate. I do hope she's all right. We just have to trust her and keep waiting. Huh? What was that? Whoa! Hellion! Get ready for battle! I just remember. Don't tell me I just noticed. Rose is flipping more switches! I she's got a nose for trouble. That's for sure. Alpha, and I did it. Oh. Darn, did that not work? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hellions! You mean those dust clouds? I don't get what you're saying. 
Forget it! Just try a different one! Fine, fine. A bunch of ghosts. Okay, never mind. I'll stay out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Paralyzed. Ready? No escape. Not yet. And win. What about swinging an umbrella around? I got a new battle action. <sighs> that was unexpected. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Miracle of miracles, we agree on something. <laughs> It'll be fine, I think. It opened. I can sense a domain? There's a presence of considerable power here, and this much malevolence. It can only be a Hellion. <coughs> Rose? Hurry! Wait, I did change his outfit. I don't Why know what's going it... on? No, a dragon newt? Is it dangerous? It's a young type of dragon. So dangerous is what you mean. Stop it! Stop it! Look who's gonna crack. Let's do this! Hey! Hellion! I'm over here! Saray? Shepard. If it's too much to handle, run! Right. We just need to buy enough time for those two to escape. Run back! Okay, I remember this thing and it's freakishly strong. It's resistant to all of my style of art. I'm not sure we have the, the only thing I, had, I could do, do we die here? when I fought Let's this before is to use my my combination. Rose, what are you doing? I told you to get out of here! I know, I know! But it's all my fault that things ended up like this! I told you to forget about it! <laughs> Saray, see if you can manage without me for a little bit. Huh? Rose. <gasps> so you can hear me now. I'm impressed. <laughs> Rose, it's okay to be scared. Just hang in there and listen to me. <sighs> so Ray's like that too. We grew up together, but he still tenses up a little when he sees me. We Seraphim are indeed Saray's friends. And yet, we cannot say for sure if Saray sees and hears the same things we do. Because he's the only human out of all of you? Yes. 
So Ray has no human compatriots who can truly understand the burden he bears as the shepherd. You want me to join him? It's ultimately your call. Hey, what's your name? Nicleo, come here! Coming. Nicleo! Fine, how do you do if there ever was one? All right, damn it! I'll prove to you I can do this! Saray, Miklio, and, uh... What? What's wrong with you? I... I... I'm joining the fight! Looks like she's made up her mind. She did it all herself, too. Lila, I'll buy us some time. You get the Squire's pack going. But Saray, you have to give her a true name first. We'll kiss Welk. Huh? That's the true name I'm giving to Rose. Uh, all right. Gary, don't charge in like that. Hold out okay, just a He has longer. the rock satellite, I which I'm just I can't time. hit him during that. No. I have to hit him with the upward combo. So that I can get the weakness going. This boss killed me so many times when I did this the first time. That it has to be in the game. Earth Dragon Bang! It's over! Multiple times! Blade Bang! Let's get it up! If he gets off Rock Satellite, it gives me a hard time because I can't. I need a hand! Smite double weapon! Yeah! Tiger Blade! Let's get it up! It's over! Blade Bang! Earth Dragon Bang! How's this? But, yeah, I uh, played a little, grind it up. I got past this part until I got to the next town. So that's not far, it's not far off from here. So where I last stopped off, because I didn't want to go anywhere now, until I got caught up with the story, is, uh, it's in the next city. After, it's literally after this dungeon, they decide to go there. So. What's wrong? Tesso is becoming Lila's no. sublord? What? It's a nice town, too. Ha! We're here! You made it! I feel like I can take on the world! Alright, then let's show this dragon ute! I've had enough of this, Shepard. I'm done playing around. Now you're going to bring my armadas to life. Dazzle, why are you... When this is all over, we're gonna have a talk. I really like Dazzle's armadas. Like, Dazzle so far is probably my favorite, aside from Edna, to uh, armadize with, because of his skill. Where his combo but in terms of healing, I don't really like it. I think I would go for. Rose, if a Hellion has scales, does that make it a Scalian? Wait, what? I think I would go for the heroes in terms of the Fortify! You feel it? Soul resonance! 
Seraph? Good work out there. Uh, uh, Rose? Uh, uh. Rose! Hey, pull yourself together. Did you think it was Rose? It's me. What? Leave her alone, you maniac. You're quite attached to her, I see. What are you after? Oh, nothing really. Just making sure it was clear to everyone why you wanted to become a sublord. Shepard, allow me to explain. I understand, Dezel. Listen. It seems there's some sort of agenda you want to accomplish with the Armatus, Dezel. That's right. And I'm using you to that end. Deal with it. What is it you want, then? Revenge. Against the Hellion who killed my friend. Tarnished the name of the Windriders, branded them as criminals, and forced them to live out the rest of their lives in secrecy as an Assassin's Guild. Oh yeah? Well in that case you're more than welcome. We love quelling Hellions. Hmm. <laughs> you mean saving them, in other words. Does that sound like revenge to you? You're out to kill them? <laughs> Lila, how could you invite someone like him to be your sublord? Because of how he is. Dezel is consumed with vengeance, and yet he has not become a Hellion. Because he has a vessel that cannot be corrupted. Rose. I get it. So if Rose were to accompany us by herself, then Dezel would lose his pure vessel, and before long, his lust for revenge would turn him into a Hellion. Don't make me laugh. I'd sooner die than become the same corrupted being as the one who wronged me. You folks forced my hand. But something tells me that you're not too bent out of shape over it. <laughs> I won't deny it. It did give me a sense of the true power of the Armatus, after all. I understand your reasons now. But if you're going with us, you can't be acting like a lone wolf. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll work with you. I'm a crummy Seraph, but I'm still a Seraph. I've got no reason to oppose what the Shepherd does. True. Well, I guess that's true. But nevertheless, keep what I told you a secret from Rose. She believes that she's come as far as she has with her own ability, without anyone's help. I don't want her to be troubled by the knowledge of what I've been doing behind her back, or the reasons why I did it. Dazzle. Well, that's that. Now we're all best buds, right? Don't toy with her. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. She just passed out from shock. I think you tossing her on the floor like that is what did it. <sighs> Why don't we plan on resting here for a while until Rose wakes up? It looks like the other Seraph still hasn't regained consciousness. 
Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, all right. What was I saying? Oh yeah, he's, he has a move that you use, one of the charged ones that switches places, that switches your place with your opponent's place. If you use it right, it can be a an extremely handy ability in battle, or it can set you up for a continuous combo that can't be avoided, because when they switch place, they're staggered for a little bit of time. So you can set up another combo or add it as an extension for your teammates to use another combo so that you can keep it going. It's pretty cool. Alright, and another battle action. Wind Rush. Press the right arrow key to catch Wind Rush and teleport forward. As long as there is ground to land on within range, you can even use it to cross ravines to reach areas that might otherwise that might be inaccessible in it <laughs> inaccessible otherwise. <laughs> By striking an enemy weak against the wind, you can begin the battle with an advantage. Oh, also, Dezel, his uh, map action is wind stepping, and it increases your move speed for a period of time. And one way that I remember it going up is by being in battle. Once you win a battle, this bar fills back up, and the more you use it, the I think it's the longer that it lasts as you level it up. But to have it, um, I don't remember. I'll have to check it out, and I'll tell you guys. We're becoming quite the family here. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Having multiple people equipped it, I know, I think, increases the time. I forget what it does by the way. I thought it increases the time, but then I thought about it. And I'm pretty sure that equipping it for multiple people levels it up. And I know Mechlio can get wind stepping. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a Seraph too, after all. Basically. Let me tell you something. What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. I was able to enact the Armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because Dezel's been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. I wonder if you guys can tell the changes that I've made in their look. Uh, what? N no, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh, I kind of like having you and Rose around. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean... I used to think we were the only group of humans and Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, 
They could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly. And so that's why... Hey. Know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepard or no. So you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the Shepherd, and of course my Seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is talking! Rose, you're awake. Yep. I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a Seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So, shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. Or wasting time. Let's head back. Hmm. Hold up! We haven't found anything yet. And there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep! Keep, Keep going! going. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. <laughs> no vacation from this vacation. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you ready? Thanks, everyone. All right, Oish. We're going to look around in the ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. See you later, mystical doggy. That dog is talking. Anyway, there's some really annoying hills in this one. Remember, well, this place was in the Celestial Record. There's one annoying one, and it's Rain. He just sits back and throws, and then you get a battle with them. That's all them. It's really irritating. I'm scared. That's a lot of dragons. Are these statues of the eight serpents? No, it can't be. The numbers don't match, but it does look like relics of dragonism. Taking the era into account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess, but why the dragons? Beings of incomprehensible power, symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over, but I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprints. Oh. Though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfalk is enough to inspire dragon legends. That's because that one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh... We met a dragon at Rayfalk. It was, uh, Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a seraph accumulates too much malevolence. <gasps> it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I agree with you that praying to a dragon is a stupid idea. Yeah, and it's his brother. Aren't they eventually gonna have to go there? I'm assuming that we're eventually gonna have to go back there to try to bring him back to normal. But when? I wonder how the war turned out. Who knows? I remember the Roland's army falling apart. Immediately afterwards, Highland also lost their general and retreated. I'd say it was a draw. You were there too? I like to watch. I see. So my actions directly affected the course of battle. It's like what Lila said before. Would Alicia and Lucas be alright? Lucas would probably be okay. But as for Alicia... We'll just have to trust Highland. I guess so. In any case, we did what we needed to do. That's right! 
Come to think of it, you guys split up with Princess Alicia, right? Yeah, in Marland. Alicia has her own dreams to pursue, too. So what? Does that make me a replacement? What? N no! No! <laughs> Sorry to ask that way. Don't worry about it. I decided to join you guys of my own volition. But don't expect me to fit into that princess role. We, we know, know that. that. Glad you understand and all. But that's a little rude of you, don't you think? No. No, I don't. I don't think it is. I really don't. Okay, so I'm gonna call it an episode here. That will be all for episode 19 of Let's Play Tales of Hysteria, and I will see you guys all on the next episode.